Hey guys, live from my garage. I look like I've been crying because I have been crying. All right, so we're gonna ignore that. I uh, had a long drive by myself this morning and sometimes I cry, especially considering that the two year anniversary of Kel's death will be coming up on June 1st. So it's all hitting me two weeks early. So that's fun. Look what I did. I bought a lot of mulch, like a lot of mulch. And this better cover my whole entire garden. I might plant a few seeds before I get to work. This is definitely going to be another workout. The tom I thought the tomato cages were bad, but this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of work. I bought 15 bags already and this is 30. So um, at $2.47 a bag, uh, it's gonna look great. It's gonna be really fancy looking. I'm excited for that. I've never had such a pretty garden. Here's the door to the garage where I'm gonna be coming through. So I gotta clean all this crap up. Here is Here's an example of what the hose looks like when you buy drip line online. It comes just like this in a box. It's not this messy, but I thought we were gonna redo the whole drip system and now we're not. So that's just an example of what the hose looks like when you get it. Done. Trying to kill me. So yeah, I'm gonna clear this whole area out and get my wheelbarrow and get to work. I almost forgot to put a few bags out here with the outside garden. Oh my God, that's heavy. <laughs> Ooh, I'll show you what else I got, hold on. Okay. I got some more marigold seeds just cause they looked a little different than some of the other ones I got. I got some more of these cause these looked kind of cool. They're squash, but they're golden color. I got these, oh shit. Cause it reminds me of my late husband. And then I got some more of these because they're my favorite. You know what? We're going to plant my leftover plants first and replace some of the ones that died because the next few days are going to be beautiful. The weather is perfect to garden. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it while the weather is nice. Then it has a couple days to acclimate in nicer weather instead of like in really crappy, dry, windy weather. God, I look like crap. I ugly cried all day. So I have all the mulch there so you can see it. And what I'm gonna do now, instead of just immediately laying the mulch down, I am going to plant a few more things just to utilize all the space that I have. Um, of course, you wanna plant marigolds in between all of your plants because they help keep the bugs away because they're so potent and strong. And I love the way they smell and I love the way they look. Um, so I'll be planting those. And then I'm gonna be planting some of these because they remind me of my late husband. Um, and bees like it, so that'll be cool to get some bees out here. And then I'll plant some of these to grow over the trellis, maybe over here, right there, or in the back garden. And I've already filmed a whole lot, so I won't be taking it off and refilming everything. And you know, I want to be transparent on YouTube anyway. I just came from the doctor and I got this lump on my neck checked out. So I have thyroid issues and my family is riddled with thyroid issues so bad so that everybody on my dad's side, grandma, great grandma, blah, 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 they've all gotten it taken out and replaced the hormone with their medication. And I already take medication and we just upped it. And I just think that's a little weird. It is a lymph node, but I just want to be safe. You never ever know what could come up. And I just, I just want to be safe. I used to never want to go to the doctor, but I made that appointment so fast. I was like, we're going to get that checked out. But it's nice to just be honest and be transparent on here. I just kind of like going with the flow. So here is a couple of tomatoes I planted after the fact. They were not planned. They were just extras that I would planted. So I'm going to be cutting a couple holes right here. There's just an extra dripper here. I did not put that there. It was already there. So I'm going to cut a couple holes and do some flowers. And I'm going to cut this fucking thing off. Anyway. <laughs> I opened up a little spot here. Just plant a couple of these little babies. 
Marigolds and sunflowers are literally my favorite flowers ever. And uh, nothing will ever change that. Okay, we're gonna swing around to this other side. And here's another little random drip. You can see it right in the camera right there. <laughs> You know what, while I'm over here, I'm gonna go grab the supplies to add a whole nother drip for this little tomato here. God dang, I'm looking all over and I cannot find my little pokey thing that pokes holes into the drip line. Yes, ma'am. So, I lost it. Dogs probably stole it. I put five bags out of 30 in that outside tomato garden. And now I'm just gonna try to fill in all of the rows here with what I have and see what happens. Okay, hey, real quick, I suggest anybody who lives in kind of a volatile <laughs> environment that has insane winds, erratic weather, always, I did this on accident, but always plant extra plants and then wait a couple of weeks after planting and see how the weather treats them. If they start beating the crap out of them or killing them instantly, just keep watching those plants. And if they die, you can just replace them. Like these aren't looking very good. They got whipped around by the wind, but this one looks amazing. So I don't know, just do extras no matter what. Everything is kind of laid out for now. I'm going to get to work and spread it evenly and see what I need. I have behind you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags left. So we'll just see what happens. Okay, shouldn't really be doing this with my hands. <laughs> my hands are turning black and I'm wearing a white shirt, but it's really satisfying to like spread it yourself. You know? Man, I really lost track of time here. I think total it took about four hours to spread all this, but I'm also a perfectionist and I kind of overdo it. But yeah. This is the back corner I don't want to go crazy with yet because I don't know if I want to plant some more stuff past. These are green beans. All these are green beans in a line. And that whole space past it is all, oh my God, is all empty right here. So look at this watermelon. It's already so big. And then I'm still waiting for some, oh look, he's coming up. That's a zucchini, I think. And it's gonna climb there, climb this trellis. I'm so excited. I'm not sponsored, but I just wanted to give a little shout out to the leggings I'm wearing. They're like Carhartt utility leggings and they withstood crawling on my knees on mulch for a very long time. They are the ultimate gardening pants and I will stand by them forever, even though they're like $65. And for those asking, yes, I threw my back out. It was awesome. Okay, so I kind of finished it all. Uh, my phone fell during a time lapse, so I need to uh, put on a new screen protector because I'm pretty sure it's very cracked. It looks so good. This thing is a motion detected sprinkler that I bought at a place called Ollie's. It's kind of like a uh, big lots kind of store. So I can't really tell you where to buy one now, but uh, it motion detects up to a thousand square feet. And this is gonna help keep my stupid cats away from my garden because they just like think it's theirs. So I don't want that. I want them to get a little sprayed every time. So it looks really, really nice though. I'm excited. I'm not done planting. These are all empty. These I'm planning on planting stuff. That's where a dripper is, but I don't know what to plant there yet. Stay tuned for next time when I mess this garden up like I did my phone screen. It's cracked. It looks awful. I'm really tired. I can't even talk anymore. Okay, goodbye.